another video coming at you for your viewing pleasure. I uh, just wanted to try to get through this personal collection reveal. So I have no idea if I actually could turn a profit on this stuff or not. I don't know if that was my intention going in, but uh, I may list a few things in uh, some lots and see if I can make a couple of bucks. I've got to figure out the shipping stuff on eBay because you just get destroyed on shipping. But anyway, uh, so without further uh, delay there, let's take a look, see what we've got. So uh, this is the final box. It's a small box. I think this box holds, what, three or 400 cards, whatever it might be. Um, all right, let's get into this. I got a couple of these minis. Uh, let me find a regular size card here just to compare, right? These things are uh, quite a bit smaller. I don't know if these are actually called minis or not. I never really liked these, so I never bought any myself, but these are 1986. There's a George Brett that's off-centered quite a bit, and then there is a Tony Gwynn. There were a few others that I tossed in the garbage. Um, there was a Rod Crew, which Hall of Famer, I could have hung on to that, but it was dinged a little bit. This Tony Gwynn actually is, is off-center, but not as bad. No clue if these are worth anything or not. So uh, I just hung on to them. I will uh, leave them in here. And then there were a bunch of these little stickers. And I, I have no idea what these things are, what they're about. I think the Henderson is a, a 82, which is only third year. Uh, it's not in bad shape. I just don't know what this is. 82 tops, I don't know, st stickers, I guess. There's the Ride Cruise sticker. There was a pretty cool gold Hank Aaron. Uh, the top of it looks like it's been like hand cut. I can't get this thing to focus, but anyway, I don't know if that's like factory like that and it's just my eyes or, or if it was hand cut, I don't really know or care. I doubt I'm gonna do anything with it. This is an 83, another Rod Carew. There's a George Brett, I think that is an 82. There's a gold George Brett. All of these are cut like that. So maybe that's just how they were. They're, they're I don't know if you can see that, but they're higher on one side than the other. It's got a bit of a slope at the top and. This one is uh, an 82 as well. Not in bad shape. I just, again, don't really know what these things are, if they're worth anything. And then there was another, this is a little bit bigger than the others. This is an 88 Barry Bonds. It's also a mini. It's just not as small as the, uh, the other ones we had in there. Or maybe it is. I don't know. I compared it to the stickers, not these cards. Yeah, there you go. I guess it's the same size as this. So if anybody knows uh, what these minis are and if they're worth anything, uh, drop me a note in the comments. All right, let's take a look here. I'm going to break this video into a couple because uh, I even get bored watching videos that are a little too long. So let me see what we've got here. We'll do about half of this and we'll kill it and then make another one uh, a little later on. So, all right, I did search through this collection. These are the items that I decided to hang on to for now. Um, not all of them are keepers, but just things that I decided to, to hang on to. So these uh, cards here were from the 86 uh, series, if I remember right. Just some old all-star cards. Again, these aren't revivable. They're a little glossy. I don't, no big names. There's Murphy for my, my Murphy collection. Um, that's about it. Just kind of interesting to take a look at. A little baseball history stuff there. All right, and then there were some 81 tops. There's a, what is that, a third, fourth year trammel? Mariners team card, Guerrero. Some of these uh, league leaders cards had some uh, great Hall of Famers on there. A couple of Steve Carlton's. There's a Rick Sutcliffe, Quisenberry, Henderson and Reigns. There's a Super Veteran Rod Carew card. I think I also got the Super Veteran Reggie in that same year, which is a pretty cool card. I think it was an 83. There's a second year Ripken, which is actually in really good condition. Centering's not too bad on that one. Uh, again, I don't know if I'll bother to send it in or not because even graded, they aren't really worth all that much, but it is in fantastic condition. One of the um, the better cards from that set. All right, there's Sutton. Um, I like Big John Mayberry, so I kept that one. A couple of Valenzuelas, three, four Valenzuelas, a Carlton Fisk, there's Raleigh Fingers. There's a 81 Blylevin, kind of a cool card. 81 Willie Aiken. I don't know if anyone saw there was a uh, movie about Willie Aiken's life. It's pretty sad. Um, I, I did keep out all these Future Stars cards. I, I don't know any of these people, but uh, I like this Future Star setup, and it's kind of nostalgic, so I hung on to all those. NL Champions, there's Greg Lozinski. Necro, there's another Future Star. A couple Winfields from the Padres, three of those. Uh, none of these are in what I would consider grading condition. A couple 86 Bretts. Again, not bad shape, but not 
PSA 10. Uh, there's a Gibson Fisk. I noticed when uh, my friend Darren opened his 86, he didn't uh, keep any of these turn back the clock cards out, but I like these cards. I mean, I know that it's obviously not a original Robinson or um, Maris, but I still like that card and I, I, I like the uh, format of those. So I just hung on to those those there instead of pitching them like the rest. Uh, there's a Bly Levin, Hendro, a few Boggs. I feel like that Boggs picture is the same on like half of his cards. Um, there's another Murphy for the Murphy collection. There's a Clemens, which also to me looks just like that 85 card for some reason. I know it's not, but it just makes me think it's his rookie when I know it's not. It's actually in decent shape. Maybe you could get like an 8 if I'm lucky. There's the 86 All-Star cards, 86 Sandberg. All the 86s are in decent shape. Just again, not PSA 10 gem mint shape. Necro, I don't know why I held out that. Oh, I think I kept some of the ones that they had pre-sleeved just for the hell of it. Uh, I got tired of pulling these out of sleeves and throwing them in the garbage, but anyway, there's the, the rows off center quite a bit. Back to 81, Eckersley, there's a good old Sutton, man, I like that guy, look, look at that hair. There's a Baylor, the Ned Yost rookie card, that's obviously high demand. The Gary Carter, I think that Carter is, uh, what is that, like the 6th, 7th year card, it's not a bad looking card though. And I got the Hearst rookie. Again, a handful more of these future stars. I just pulled these out because I like those cards. So Mike Scott. That might be a rookie card for Mike Scott. If anybody uh, wants to make me an offer on that one, it's a little off-center, but feel free. There's a crew all-star. Another future stars. There's the uh, league leader card with uh, Quiz and Rally Fingers. Some 83 cards. Some more of these 86. Oh, that's actually in pretty decent shape other than some road rash on the side. Same here. Here's some of those um, Legend Pete Rose cards that uh, Darren was talking about in his set. Now I've, I've realized I had a few of those in here as well. And man, I really like those. They're pretty slick cards. That one's in a little bit better center, but the corners aren't as good as this one. So maybe if I can combine these two, I could get a uh, PSA 10 out of two combined. Um, another couple of those. Again, I really like these uh, Pete Rose kind of look back cards. Pretty slick. I, I think I got most all of those in the set here. Some more 86. There's a Rose Record Breaker. A bunch of Seavers. There's a bunch of Coleman's. Is it that the Coleman rookie? I think he had an 85 traded, maybe. Or that might be the rookie. I don't really remember, to be honest. Some Ripkins. That one's actually in super good shape. Except for this. There's always one. There's always a except on these. All right, Sutton's a Pucket. Second year Pucket. Another Brett. There's a lot of George Bretts in these. This, this was purchased in the Kansas City area. Quite a few uh, Bretts. So. All right, last stack to run through here, and I'll end this uh, for everyone here. Some 82s, Winfield, Dawson. There's a uh, Steve Bedrosian, Brett Butler rookie card. Rod Carew, another Rod Carew. Eckersley, Carlton, Trammell. There's a Dave Stewart rookie card. That actually looks like it's in pretty decent shape. Ah, there's a little ding in the, there's always a butt in that, there you go, in that bottom left corner. It's a Jesse Barfield. I always like Barfield. I don't know why, but I always like Barfield, so I hung on to that one. 82 Brett, another Brett. There's a couple Molitors and a Yant. Eddie Murphy. I'm sorry, Eddie Murray. Although Eddie Murphy is a better name. Gotta laugh at that one. All right. There's a Ryan, uh, earned run, average leader. It's a Seaver, win leader. Von Hayes, rookie card. There's a Danny Ainge. I didn't realize how many years he played in the league. For some reason, I thought he just kind of flirted with it, but he was a legitimate major leaguer for a handful of years. There's Ryan, Dave Parker, Seaver, another couple Seavers. Tommy John. There's a lot of good cards in here. A lot of, a lot of Hall of Famers. Sutton, there's a couple Suttons. There's a, a cool Reggie in, in action card. Rod Crew, there's a George Bell rookie card. That actually's in really good shape. I doubt it's worth a, a dime, but it looks good. All right, a couple Ozzy Smiths, not bad shape. Palmer, another bunch of Palmers. I need to kind of collate these. There's another bunch of Pete's, the great hair. A Goose, there's a 82 Thomas, I like Gorman Thomas. There's a Kent Herbeck rookie card. It's a hot commodity. 
Maybe if you're a uh, big Twins fan, Rice, there is a uh, Dave Henderson rookie card. It's not a bad bad card either. There's a Stargell, another Hall of Famer, Baines, another Bly Levin, and a Steve Sachs Mike Marshall rookie card. So anyway, all right, as you can see, I've got another uh, half a box here, but I will save that for a future video. Hope you enjoyed.